Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don. And today, well, today we are eastbound and down and loaded up and trucking, man. And, and, and I can't tell you how excited I am to finally be able to share with you guys some gameplay video in the Pimax 8K. X. That's right. You guys heard that right. Was, Pimax was awesome enough not only to take me out to CES this year to work with them in their booth, but to send me home with one of the V5 production samples. And uh, I, I've been playing with it for about a week. I, I know you guys haven't seen me a lot, and I do apologize for that. I, I've been in transition with my real world job and, uh, you know, got the new job established now. So now I finally got some breathing room where I can, you know, do some stuff. So anyway, tonight I, I figured we're going to kind of kick it old school, man. I'm going to go back. We're going to play some American Truck Simulator. I got the sim set up. Uh, and uh, we're just going to drive and talk about the Pimax 8KX. So let's go. Okay, here we are in the cab of my truck. And man, I, I, even though it's dark in here, God, it looks good. The little fine details, like I can read the, the, the little Peterbilt on the, the sticker up there, even in the dark with a glare on it. I, 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 the 8KX is amazing. I've never seen VR this sharp and this clear with this wide field of view and and I, it just i don't know I, I, you guys are going to hear me babble a whole hell of a lot during this video but you know i don't know for the first time i, I can say maybe this is one of those ones where you really kind of want to hear me babble a lot uh there we go there we go got my headlights oh there's my brights all right i think we are ready to go here let's get that out of our way and let's truck. What? Ah, oh, that's evil. They started me backwards. never do that in real life especially with a huge trailer attached we'll say it's interesting part of my new job there is a lot of driving involved and, and I am now in a big van um, for those of you who watch the channel regularly or know me um, you, you probably know a couple months ago I separated from Missouri State so that was unfortunate come on y'all hurry up there we go put on my blinker and everything traffic I mean gah whatever All right, it's green, y'all. Clear out. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It doesn't get as much more sim than this. All right, I'm going. I'm going. No, don't. You you stop. You stop. I, I go. No, no. No, no, I can't be hung up on something. Brute force it. 
There we go. Pop that damn trailer out. What the hell are we listening to? Flower power radio. Oh yeah. Get ready to turn left. Turn <laughs> Light left. 80s. You know, I probably should have left the radio in the truck off because it's probably going to get me a copyright strike. Alright, here. So now that we're getting on the freeway, now I can talk a little bit about the 8KX, which is probably what most of you people watching this video have been waiting for. Right? You're like, dude, American Truck Simulator, whatever. Let's 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 hear about the AKX. So, all right. First and foremost, man, the experience hanging out with uh, the, the Pimax team at CES that that was amazing. Uh, they they are really working hard, guys. They they really are. Uh, you know, I, I know they take a lot of shit out there, uh, but they they're really trying, and uh, they they've definitely made some mistakes, and they know that, and they are working hard. To rectify those who <laughs> Tijuana right on um, but uh, you know uh, the, the show went great uh, we, we, we had a lot of people hit the booth uh, everybody who tried the Pimax products was very very pleased with them uh, including uh, Palmer Lucky I got a chance to meet Palmer Lucky finally that was awesome right. Um, and then exit right. right here all right, sorry, see ya. I said let's drive and talk, but it's hard for me to drive, concentrate, and talk. Um, so, or at least in the game it is. Um, so yeah, so anyway, uh, after it was all over, um, uh, Martin and uh, Kevin were kind enough to let me bring this uh, production sample, the uh, version five, uh, production sample home with me which is pretty much the the the, the final uh, production model uh, sans some uh, retooling on the uh, the modular audio strap here uh, now I am using that right now and it, I'm not gonna lie it sounds okay uh, it, it sounds definitely better than the uh, the rift or the quest uh, at this point uh, definitely not anywhere in league with the uh, the valve index but I was told at CES that this is not the final the final design that they are going to look at some different uh, the sound channeling and, and speakering and uh, you know some some different looks to it as well but uh, it is nice to have it, you know, I tell you what, it, it is a huge upgrade, th this modular audio strap, uh, over the, the previous. I mean, you got this wide, nice, wide top strap here. Uh, you got this intense setup here in the back. Uh, everything feels great. And, and the new comfort kit also, I, I got to comment on that. It, it really, really feels nice. Uh, against my face. I mean, it, I, I could play games like this for hours and, and be completely comfortable with this. And, uh, you know, for, for, for games that are a little more physical active, I did see they, they do have a uh, PLU leather uh, face pad replacement for the comfort kit uh, that they were showing there. Um, now, I don't have it on for this video, but I do also have that spiky silicone cover thing that they have now. Uh, I'm calling it the Mad Max, uh, but uh, I will uh, wear that in another more appropriate video. Um, so let's see here, uh, other things about the Pimax 8KX. Uh, so, you know, uh, I've talked about the design a little bit, I guess. Uh, the, the clarity is just spot on. Uh, I mean, it is, it is definitely the clearest, sharpest, VR headset I have ever seen. 
uh, hands down, I am seeing like fine details in the distance. Uh, and, 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 and man, it's not even like fully bright in this game yet. Uh, I've still got my headlights on here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've never seen it this clear and this bright. Uh, there, there is absolutely no visible screen door. Uh, no, okay, screen door is gone. I'm not going to call it screen door. There, there is still the tiniest of, of mesh. Like, like when, when you look at bright scenes. You know, when the scene gets bright here, when the sun is fully up, I'd probably be able to see it in the sky. But with the lighting the way it is right now, I'm telling you, everything looks just smooth as glass. I am not discerning any sort of screen door effect whatsoever. Uh, and that, it's just, I mean, it really does. It makes things, you know, oh crap, see, I'm talking and looking up here. It makes things more solid. I, I, it makes my my brain more easily convinced that that this world is the world that I'm inhabiting right now. I mean, I've got the force feedback from the wheel going on. If I wasn't sitting here talking to you guys, uh, and I was maybe in battle chair with my other transducer that would give me the rumble of the seat, uh, I could easily lose myself in this uh, with the wider field of view, with the with the crystal clear graphics, uh, and and you know, the, here's the funny thing: I'm running this on medium. I'm having to run this on medium because I am running a, it on my PC, which is in need of an upgrade. It's a 1080 Ti uh, on an i7 7700K with 16 gigs of RAM, and and so far it's done me well. But I am noticing that this headset is choking the shit out of it. And, uh, you know, that was to be expected. I mean, this is not a headset for people who are not running those 2080 Ti's. I, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not a headset because obviously I'm running it just fine. And, and, and at CES, I, I think a couple of people like the, the y'all people were running it off of a 1070 laptop. Um, Keep left left oh, okay there we go I'm loving the, the fact that the sun's finally coming up because that's when you can really start to see details and you know I, I, another thing is I'm not seeing very much a lazing at all it, 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 it's it's almost like some of the shimmer from the uh, the, the 5k plus is gone Close to life as you're gonna get, folks. Right here. Apps are freaking lootly amazing. Okay, so that was just a few brief thoughts uh, about the Pimax 8KX as, as I kind of drove around. And, you know, you guys are going to be getting a lot more of my thoughts over the next coming weeks and months until they start shipping this thing in mass. And, and I can't wait to give them to you. You know, it, it is an amazing headset, guys. And, and, and I, and I got to tell you, once again, I want to thank Pimax. I feel truly blessed to have this right now. Um, because I know there's a lot of people out there who are waiting on it. And, and, and trust me, trust me when I say this, that it is going to be worth the wait. It, it is, oh man, if they, if they just refine the, the, the audio strap a little bit better and, and yeah, it, it's going to be worth the wait. So anyway, that's all I've got for tonight, guys. Uh, you know, if, if you haven't already, I, I don't normally ask for subscribers, but, you know, consider it. Uh, smash subscribe, ring the bell if, if you're interested in the Pimax 8KX. And, you know, you, you never know what I'm going to play next in the thing. I, I might might be slashing some zombies in it here very shortly or flying an Elite Dangerous or you never know. So anyway, that's it. I'm out. This is Don. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.